Hi. Thank you very much for taking your time to watch my video. Please, before you continue to watch this video, don't forget, forget to hit the subscribe button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. So today I'll be discussing how to find inactive users in your active directory. So let's say um, you work in a, in a company and you have thousands of users, let's say 10 to 20,000, probably one or 2,000 users, and you want to search for users who have not logged on for some specified period of days. So I think you will not start going through your Active Directory and start searching your um, organization unit or searching for user one by one. Then the best way to actually get these um, inactive users or users who have not logged on for some time is using PowerShell script. So I, ha I have a script which I um, compiled myself, which of course I did some research on the internet also. So I decided to add some of some of the um, like the variables and add add them myself. So I'm going to actually go through and just show you how what how what the script is going to do. First of all, um, I have let me see, just show you my Active Directory. So I'm going to search for this organization unit which is called Belgium. So here I have some other organization units as well, but I'm just going to search through this organization unit. So um, if you, I'm going to my days in of inactive days inactive. I'm going to I'll just put it like five days. But if you work in a very big company and you want to search for like um, users who have not logged in for the past 90 days or 180 days, so you just need to change this number to 180. So for now, I'm just going to use five or even like two days. Well, let me just use five days because I don't have so much users in this uh, in my Active Directory. So here I'm going to actually create another variable which is called the inactive date. So here I'm going to use the get date formula, which is dot add days, which is today. So I'm going to minus it from the days which the user has been inactive. And here I created a, uh, another variable which is called my source um, organization unit. So here, because I prefer to actually search, not to search my um, the whole Active Directory, but just only search for some in um, probably in a specified um, organization unit. And so what I'm going to use, I'm going to use the get active directory users and I'm going to filter the last logon date, which is less than, then I'm going to say it's inactive, less than the inactive date, that is the variable inactive date. And I'm going to also filter the users which are enabled, not disabled users. So if I use the and is enabled and is equal to disabled, which means I want to set for only disabled users. But right now I'm going to only set for the and is enabled and is true, which means the user is enabled. So the user has not been disabled, the account has not been disabled. Because there's no reason for me searching a disabled account actually because a user an account which is which has been disabled, the user will not be able to log on with that account. So I'm going to say use a search base based formula, which of course and my source of search base is going to be this organization unit called Belgium. And again, the properties I'm going to set for the last logon date as well. So I'm going to select the object which I want to see, which is the name. The last logon date and probably this is distinguished date. So you can actually add more to it if you want to see more um, of the properties as well. So let me just try to run the script and see what we get here. So here we can see um, I have the um, the user's name, I have the name of the user, and have the last logon date. Here we can see which is on the 14th of 08 2020. And I can see the last logon date of here, which is September. I can see as well the last logon date of Mozix is also September. And I can see that the last logon date of Nora is on the 6th of October. So here, if I decided, let me just actually put this to like zero, or let me just put like one and see if I can have like four users right now. So let me see if I can get more users. So I still have like one, two, three, four, five. I have about five users. So let me try to see if I can see like um, 90 days. Here you can see we don't let me clear my screen again. Let me clear my screen and run the script again. Here you can see we don't have any users which has not been logged on for the past 90 days because I'm using actually a trial version of Windows Server. So my server, um, I think I installed my server like some two months ago. 
so not um like 90 days ago so probably i'm not going to find anyone who has not logged into this server for the past or to this domain for the past 90 days so if you work in a um, large company and you want to search for users who are not logging for like 360 days or even two years like 600 days you just need to modify the days inactive and it's going to give you the list of users which has not logged on for a very long time thank you very much for taking your time to watch this video my name is kelvin johnson please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel for more it related video and i hope you can also leave a comment and if you have any question you can as well send me an email and I'll reply as quick as possible